Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this Christmas card making tutorial. This is the card we're making. Isn't it cute? It's this little snowman in his little scene. And for this card here, I've used the matching snowy um, wonder, um, snowy days designer series paper, or snowy scenes, I should rather say. I'll get it right. And I inlaid, I cut out my circle for my window, and then I inlaid the piece I cut out, I turn it over, but we're going to do something slightly different for this card that we're going to do together. See so here we're going to start off with our stamping and this is the stamp set we're going to use. It's called the Snowy Days, the Snowy Wonder rather stamp set and we're going to stamp everything in Memento. We're not going to stamp everything, we're going to stamp our snowman in Memento Tuxedo Black. And then we've got these lovely little mountain scenes and I'm going to stamp a few of these. We're not going to use them all, but I'd rather have more than I need and then I can fiddle around with them when I put together my little scene. And I love making little scene cards. They're one of my favourite ways to design cards. I love just creating a little scene and I think it just makes the card really interesting. So you can see here we have two different types of mountain. And I've stamped three of the larger one and then I'm going to stamp a few now of the smaller one. And we're going to use quite a few different stamp sets, stamps from the stamp set rather, and it does have a matching die set that I'll show you soon. So there we go. We've got three of each mountain. Now we don't use all of these, as I said. So now we have some lovely little accessories for our snowman. You can stamp it with these little black hats, but I wanted it to be red just to for something different. I'm stamping here in Poppy Parade ink because that's one of the colours in the pat in the designer series paper, the pattern paper. And I'm also going to stamp some presents. I'm going to stamp a few here in red and then I'm going to stamp as well some in the green which is going to be shaded spruce. So let's put that ink pad away and we're going to move on to our shaded spruce. And here you're going to see me stamp the presents again in the shaded spruce, just so we have some variation. And as I said, I've matched the colours to the colours in the designer series paper. So let's take our little tree and we're going to stamp a few of these as well. And as I said, I'm just stamping on a scrap piece of basic white cardstock. And we have more than one tree shape as well. But we're just going to use these ones. So there we go. And now we're just going to stamp our sentiment and I'm just going to use my grid paper to help line up my sentiment. So I've got it straight so I'm going to stamp that in shaded spruce as well. Season's greetings just here in the corner. Lovely. Okay, so clean everything up, put everything back in its little home. You know I'm a great believer of cleaning up as I go along. Saves any other disasters later on. Now these are the matching dies and I'm going to cut everything out and I'm going to use that large die to cut the piece out of the designer series paper and here you can see everything is cut out. So let's start to assemble our card. Now our card base here is Poppy Parade so that's a standard A6 card base that's an A4 sheet cut in half and then fold in half. Then I've got a piece here of basic white cardstock that measures 14.35 centimeters by 10. I'm using that for the insert. Now I've cut another piece the same measurement for out of the designer series paper. Now my original I just inlaid the piece I cut out um, to give me a different um, background but this time I decided to do something different so I'm going to use a piece here of balmy blue cardstock and you can just hear here see me sort of measuring where the window will be and this is because I want to do some inking and I don't need to ink up the whole cardstock I just need to ink up the bit that's going to show so I used a pencil to make a mark underneath the designer shoes paper where no one will see it so I just roughly know where my hole will be my aperture my window will be and you can see here I'm just putting a bit of ink color down it looks extremely blotchy on the camera unfortunately it does smooth out and it does not look blotchy like that in real life at all so now we're just going to stick down our designer series paper with our little window and that's just cut out with the matching dies it's some there is a little base to it you can make it into a snow globe you could make this into a shaker card it would look really cute as a shaker card as well but i'm not doing that here and i'm just cutting off any bits that hang over the edge so you can see here I have cut out a piece again with the same die of basic white cardstock 
and now I've just used my scissors to cut a little snow bank and you could pop this up using dimensionals I'm going to just put this down with some Tombow mono adhesive um, because I'm going to pop up other elements in front of it okay so now we have our sentiment and I just cut this out using my trimmer and then I matted it on a piece of scrap of poppy parade cardstock and now we're going to put this whole panel down on our card base on the front of our card base but don't worry all the measurements and the supply list etc will be on the blog post and you can find the link to that as well as all my social media links in the description box below so do check all of that out now this was actually a card we made in card club and i host a monthly online card club um, in Lincoln in the UK as well as one online for those who don't live close by so if you're interested in that just go onto my website and you'll find all the information there okay so let's put together our little snowman here and I've just used a pumpkin pie marker for his nose for his carrot nose and I've just stuck his little hat on his head and now I'm gonna pop him up using some dimensionals and as you know I'm very um, generous of my dimensionals so I've put dimensionals on most of his body but just the little bottom part of his tummy or his bottom whatever you want to call it I haven't and that's because I'm going to tuck it just underneath the window like that so the bit that's going to tuck I didn't pop up okay so now I put here a scrap piece of the um, designer series paper the snowy scenes and I'm just putting that on the inside for our insert to decorate our insert like that and now we've got all of our pieces here and we can start to put together our little scene so I'm going to put down my trees I'm going to see whether I want how many of the mountains I want where I want them all to go do I want more or less etc I'm just going to fiddle with it a while and until I find something that is pleasant to the eye and you can see here I've decided that I actually like what I've got so far I'm not going to add anything else and then I've got some presents here and I'm just trying to decide where do I want to put these on my design. So I think I'm going to cluster them just here next to my sentiment and create a little cluster there. And there we go. That's the design. And you can see here that was the insert that I had before. I think I prefer this one with the snowy bank and the blue skies to the one I had in my original design. So I'm glad that I tried something different. You can let me know which design you prefer. This one with the blue and the snowy bank or the one before where I inlaid the piece we die cut out. Okay, so we're going to pop up our little tree as well on some dimensionals. And I'm going to use a baby one for the top here and I love adding dimension to a card it really helps things to pop from the background and gives it a good scene really helps the scene come together there we go and let's put our little presents down and I'm going to put a dimension on the last present and now I can't find the present because it's stuck to me somewhere. Oh, found it. Found it. Oh, I'm still searching for that present. Yeah, I found it. I think it jumped into the bin, if I remember rightly. But there we go. Okay, so there we are. There is our card done. You can tell me which one you like. Oh, sorry. Before I've done, I'm going to add some of these loose snowflakes here and there. And I'm just going to use my glue to put down some glue, little dots of glue all over. And then I'll use my sticky pickup tool to take your pick tool to add my snowflakes here and there. So if you've enjoyed this project, I should say, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that note, hit that subscription button. It really makes a difference to the visibility of my videos online and I'd much appreciate it. <clears throat> if you want you can follow me on all of my social media I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest all over the place so do click on those links below if you want and thank you again and I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have as I said please don't forget to give it that thumbs up and there you go there's our card done so thank you again and until next time enjoy being creative Bye.